And coming up next, I'm at the world-famous Cliffside Malibu Rehabilitation Center a year after the Woolsey Fire. We begin with that breaking news, a state of emergency in California. The most destructive wildfire in the history of California. The Woolsey Fire now over 30,000 acres burnt. In Southern California, two major fires forcing the mandatory evacuations of more than 200,000 people, including the entire city of Malibu. This entire neighborhood has been obliterated. Report of three people trapped in a house. People trapped in cars. There might be some injuries. This entire neighborhood has been obliterated. All the mountains around here are scorched and not a firefighter in sight. That's how stretched they are across Southern California this morning. Cliffside Malibu is a world-class substance abuse rehabilitation center located by the shores of beautiful Malibu. Cliffside Malibu is a substance use disorder treatment center and we treat patients um, at every level of care from detox all the way down to an outpatient level of care and Cliffside is is such a special place because of the way that we help patients achieve long-term sobriety. Just last year the famous Woolsey fire forced Cliffside Malibu residents to evacuate and rather quickly. We prepare for everything at Cliffside. Just working in this field, anything can happen. You never know what you're walking into. Um, we, our, our staff are trained. We, we go through drills and drills. Um, you know, we have, we have a protocol that we train every, every single employee on. We were getting pictures sent to us from, you know, the news or aerial shots of the impact the fire had on our facilities. It literally was flat. We were fortunate to be able to secure a location that could accommodate our needs, which was like 45 hotel rooms. We had to evacuate 72 patients. Safety during the evacuation was the primary concern, but patient privacy was successfully moved. We had uh, confidential medication pass rooms. You know, our doctors were able to see clients confidenti confidentially, you know, in private spaces in the hotel. So we're on an electronic medical record system which allows us to access it remotely. So that, yeah, so that portion was great, but we had procedures in place where we gathered all the information that we needed and printed out and, you know, client medications, belongings, things that they needed for that immediate time mm -hmm. to get out. A year later, it's about rebuilding for the better. We reopened one of our facilities that was not a total loss on January 2nd of 2019, right? So it was essentially less than two months after the fire. We were able to find three neighboring properties in Malibu. Um, we did a total overhaul of those properties um, and we accepted our first patient in April of 2019 and making Cliffside an even better place for their patients. The love, the care, um, and the hope that we are able, that we provide to clients on a daily basis wasn't ending with the Woolsey fire, right? We were forced to find a new place to give the treatment that we knew was changing lives. I think what stands out to me the most was just the response from our staff. You, you really see that the people who work at Cliffside, this is more than a job to them. It's a calling. Um, we had staff who were, about half of our staff live in, in cities that were evacuated before Malibu was evacuated. So we had something like 50% of our staff after securing hotel rooms for their families, for their pets, um, were then driving into Santa Barbara to help our clients you know, during, during the evacuation of Cliffside. It was, it was incredible to see. Want more info on Cliffside Malibu? Head over to their website cliffsidemalibu.com or check out our website at californialifehd.com.